Welcome back to Broken Electronics. I'm Lee, and it's great to be with you today as always. Uh, what I intend to do in today's video is to take a little bit more in-depth look at the software that we can find on my Apple Emate 300 from 1997. Now, before we get into that, uh, I feel the need to give kind of an apology. The first video that I did on this machine, uh, I made what I thought was a rather amusing little joke by calling it Apple's first ARM computer. And I released the video on the day of the Apple event that introduced the first uh, Apple Silicon, now known as M1 computers. So, yeah, and, you know, it was a good joke. It really was. But the thing is, that video ended up getting between four and five times the usual number of videos I get. So I think there were a fair number of people who clicked on it expecting to see one of the M1 Max, which obviously this isn't. It's a 25 megahertz ARM processor, very limited uh they called it a computer back in the day, but, you know. Uh, so, I'm, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I, most of those people, however, shut off the video very quickly because I got a much, much lower view time, maybe three minutes, and that was the length of time that they realized uh, this was all a joke. Okay, well, anyway, I... I don't think the email is a joke. I think there's a lot of very interesting things about it. Uh, with a 25 megahertz processor, obviously there are a lot of limitations to the device. But it was an intriguing idea and personally I think it's kind of a shame that Apple, once Steve Jobs came back, decided not to follow through and perhaps see where they could have brought it. Because it could have been a very interesting, light-duty, uh, actual computer to be used in the education market. Well, anyway, if you are interested in it, taking a little bit more of a look at the software and what the machine can do with its limitations, please stay tuned. All right. We've got the email, email closed up right now. When you close it, it does blank the screen and you should see that as soon as we open it up it springs right to life. Uh, I just had it open, I had the backlight on so yeah you can see things pretty well here. Uh, yeah and that you know, reminiscent of an iPad uh, particularly one that's in a keyboard and we see the backlight has gone off one of the biggest challenges in doing this is getting it set up so that I can actually see what's going on and record what's going on at the same time. All right. Primary input is, of course, the stylus, and this is going to be a little bit awkward because where I have positioned the camera in order for you to see it. When you first open up your e-mate, you are greeted with the Office application, which has two components in it. It's got a word processing uh, application, and it also has a drawing application. And that's open right now. And you see here that by holding the stylus down on that, we can choose either paper or drawing. Oops. And I think we inadvertently Okay. Let's try that again. Now we should get a word processor. Now put the stylus down. All right. 
Oh, this is going to be a pain. Test paper because I can't see what I'm doing and I'm bound to hit the keyboard, but there you go. All right, so we have named our document. Trying to actually type a document. Without actually hitting the, the camera. Okay. It actually works pretty well. The, the keyboard is about 75% normal size similar to what you would get with an 11 inch iPad uh, and it's it's pretty functional uh, if you're a touch typist you're probably gonna have a problem with it but there you go all right so that's probably the single most important thing available here on this machine yeah, you know, it's it's good for taking notes. Although there is a note application, we can look at that a little bit uh, in the future, and we did in the introductory video. Uh, now, the other part of this is the drawing application, and oops. This is a pain, but I think you can see it pretty well. I can see through the phone that's coming up. All right. Close that out. Now we've got a tool menu up here where we can select various things. Uh, for instance, the circle. Okay, and we can get the line, and I can't actually get, okay, there we go. That's not what I wanted at all. <laughs> okay. I am obviously not very good at this. So we'll go back. Come up with the drawing again. Just call it test. All right. And, all right. Oh, that's the greatest eyes I've ever done. All right. Now, let's try Well, none of that worked out. All right. Draw his body. Arms. Legs run out of room there. Okay. Uh, put that in again. All right. Kind of squinty-eyed closed. Okay, that'll do. Give him hair. So this obviously isn't me. Ah, uh, now. What else can we do here? 
All right. You give him a football? Yep. And we can move the football down into his hand. Okay, all well and good. Now, what else can we do? Piece of pizza. Put the pizza. In the other hand, and there, wow, what a wonderful work of art this is. Now, if I were actually, first of all, I can't draw to save my life, as you can obviously tell, uh, but if I were going to try to use this program, I would push the screen all the way down flat uh, and be using it much more as though it, it were an actual tablet. Uh, that would make it a whole lot easier trying to do this and have it set up so you can see what I'm doing. All right. Such a wonderful work of art, but I think we're going to delete it anyway. All right. So that's how the drawing works in the program. Uh, it's actually kind of fun. Uh, how useful it is within the context. Uh, a little hard to say. Okay, now to access anything else, as I said, when you first turn the device on, what you get is the, that, those two programs. You can either do a word processing document, turn our light back on, or you can, you can do a drawing. If you want to access anything else, up here in the function keys that are on the top row of the keyboard, there is one labeled extra. And now you can see what all of those other things are. In, out. So I'm not dead sure what in, out is. Oh, I still seem to be drawing on the keyboard. No items in this folder. Okay. Now it's a little annoying. To get back to the extras menu, you have to keep hitting that. Uh, notes. Now, uh, this is a note. Yeah, that, that goes back to my last uh, video. It actually did get saved. Uh, so, yeah, a, another word processing option that's more for taking quick notes and making things happen uh, quickly without necessarily everything that the word processor has. Not that it's very full-functioned. Okay. Back to the extras menu. Calls, which I believe is, is faxes. Uh, they can't do voice calls. Now, doc. This would dock it to a computer, evidently, or to some other uh, device through the use of a serial port. Uh, I don't have another machine. I think, well, I probably do have one that's got a serial port kicking around somewhere. I don't think I have a serial cable. Anyway... There is that. Card. This is for the uh, the PC, uh, the single PC slot that's in there. As you see, there is no card inserted right now, but you could put uh, a phone modem in there. You could put Ethernet. Uh, you could put uh, a flash memory card to save and transfer uh, various files, none of which I have. Well, I've got an Ethernet. I suppose I plug Ethernet in there, but I'm not going to. Okay. Calculator. Well, let's see here. 365 times 310. 113,150. Isn't that nice? Uh, doesn't want to clear all, does it? There we go. Okay. 
so much for the calculator, but a handy little thing. You can calculate to your heart's content. Um, formulas. Now, th there are a whole bunch of different formulas you can work with. Metric conversion, you can work out loan payments, net present value, currency exchange, handy if you're traveling, I guess, date calculator, uh, date conversion. Let's look at metric conversion. All right. Now, let's say... 300 feet. 300 feet is 91.44 meters. Now we can change feet into yards. Let's well, just change it into miles or yards or inches. And you can change that to centimeters. Let's change that to centimeters and say 12 inches 30.48 centimeters and in your measurements you can do length which is its default area weight u.s liquid british liquid or temperature which might be interesting okay so let us see fahrenheit currently here in connecticut it is 55 degrees which converts to 12.78 Celsius. <laughs> this could actually prove to be very, very handy, uh, particularly if you're going back and forth to Canada ever. Okay, we can clear all that. Uh, we'll take that back to length. And it still defaults back to feet and meters. Okay, so much for that. But, again, a cute little thing, fun to play around with. Okay, time zones. We, we saw this a little bit. I was setting it. Unfortunately, I have discovered that whenever I unplug uh, the device, it loses these settings. It doesn't lose documents that I've saved, but time settings it loses. So we've got here... Burlington, Vermont, that's where I said it the last time. And it's saying 736. How strange. Yeah, because, I mean, the time is basically still reading as, as though it were in Cupertino. Uh, oh, well, what the heck. And the clock. And this is the correct time. We've got the date. I'm recording this on the 20th of November. Uh, if you remember that last video, you'll see setting... Oops. Setting the time. You can go to 24-hour time if you prefer. Setting the time and date is a real pain. Uh, because you can't just like select years. I set it to 2000 and since I'm certainly at some point going to unplug the device and lose this setting, I decided not to fuss anymore. So we got the time right, we got the date right, and we're 20 years in the past or three years in the future as far as the e-mate would be concerned. Uh, all right, back to extras. Prefs. Okay, we get various preferences we can get. Security, locale, sound, recording. Not sure about that. It, you can set alarms. You can set it to go to sleep. Handwriting recognition, modem, auto dock. A lot of little prefs you can do, none of which I'm going to go into right now. All right. Owner info. Okay, now we can add to this person info. First name, 
Lee. Last name. Jones. Okay. Forgive me for not putting in my phone number. Well, interesting, you'll note here, there is a little on-screen keyboard. Well, this is running the same, the Newton operating system, Newton OS, uh, same as the uh, message pad Newtons, which of course did not have physical keyboards. Uh, no one would be using this right now because you do have a physical keyboard. Okay, so we've got that. And what else can we add? Company. All right. Boy, trying to type with the camera right here. <laughs> and no, there is no screen recording software for the Newton. Uh, I'll be kind of curious to see if that saves. I suspect that it would. So, there I am, the owner of my device and all I survey. Okay. Uh, all right, names. All right, now, interesting in that They've got a few built-in uh, Cappuccino Court, <laughs> Newton, Massachusetts. Uh, th these are really just put in there. All right, by default. Okay. Oh, no, we don't want to add. We want new. New person. John Jones, you may remember from past videos. Oops, two different lines. John, oh, you know, yeah, the, the tab key works. Okay, so I don't have to keep grabbing the. Okay. So, again, now, my grandfather, uh, who, by the way, fought in World War I, he was a first lieutenant, uh, has been dead since, what, the 70s? Uh, maybe early 80s, I don't know. Uh, okay, so, we now have a card for him. And here we are with our card, and we can add... Company. First National Bank. And Trust of Atmore. Okay. And move down and put in his title. President. Now, that, that in fact is very true. He came back, he was an 18-year-old first lieutenant in World War I, uh, came back, interestingly, at the time of the Spanish flu. But of course, he had to look, uh, look for a job, a very young man, but you know, was, uh, was in the war. Uh, he got a job as a teller, I believe it was, at the First National Bank and Trust of Atmore, Alabama. He stayed with that bank for his entire life. He rose from an 18-year-old teller, or maybe 19 by the time he got that job, to being president of the First National Bank of Atmore. And eventually, once he retired as president, he became chairman of the board. Uh, for what that's worth... Come on. Give me my light back. All right. It is possible to see the screen. All right. And to extras. 
again. Dates. Put a new date. Meeting, weekly meeting, event, multi-day event, annual event. Okay, title. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Okay. Uh, January 23rd. And it ends on January 23rd. It'll be interesting seeing if that. What can we do for alarms? 9 a.m. on day of event. I want to give myself one day, just, just, just in case I forget what day it is. Hey, with the pandemic, we're home all the time. It can be pretty easy to forget what day it is. Okay, so there's our event. All right. Now, you know, I'm not particularly adept at using this device. Uh... I'm sure, yeah, you know, once you get used to it and once you, you're not trying to work around a, a camera on a tripod here, it should be a little bit easier. Connection, serial. I, I'm not sure exactly what the distinction would be between dock and classroom dock. Unless the, okay, there, there are like multiple little uh, things that I suppose everybody would have their emates and you could connect multiple emates into there. Uh, all right. Now there are other things and I'm not going to do it today, but, uh, I have done a video on infrared sharing between computers. Um, and this in fact would share infrared. So I could move documents from the emate to a Mac with an IR port etc. Uh, and all of that. But anyhow, I think this will serve, and this video is going on way too long, and I've fumbled around too much. But anyhow, this is the e-mate. I wish they'd stuck with it. I wish they'd delivered, it, delivered on the promise of it. I really wish they had come up with a more functional processor for it, because it has tons of promise. In any event, I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at it. I doubt that we'll have more on the e-mate, although you can never tell what may came, come up. But there's a lot of other things coming up. So, be good to other people. They need it. Be good to yourselves. You particularly need it. Let's make this a better world. It isn't. So, take very, very good and careful care in these difficult times. We shall be back with a lot more videos, and until that time, this has been Broken Electronics.